I watched a woman say goodbye to no one in particular, open her eyes wide to take in the light at the end of the tunnel, and cough her soul out like she was choking on it. I smoothed her worried brow and opened the window so she could fly out on the December wind. I work at a nursing home. A last stop for those whose minds are failing them faster than their bodies are, and I stay with every resident until their respective selves meet up with each other again. I say things like, you can go now, and your job here is done, but it's more for me than it is for them, because their tie that binds was unknotted long ago by the ruthless, slipping process that brought them here to begin with. When someone asks me why I love those who will not remember, who will die having never known my name, or wonders how dementia means friend in my personal vocabulary, I offer a language lesson. If a dementia patient tells you they love you, tell them you love them back. A lie told enough times begins to ring like truth. If a dementia patient asks after her dead sister, do not tell her she's made her last memory of her. Hope is alive and well in her plaque-tangled mind. Instead say, I haven't seen her yet. I'll let you know if I do. Or, I haven't met her. Tell me about her. You've offered a warmer comfort than you understand and saved her from grief's familiar forgotten fingers. If he grips the bird bones of your hand and reminds you of the one who hurt you, look him in the eyes and tell him you're his friend. There is enough of him left inside to know what that word means. If you ever ask, run out of questions, ask about her childhood. Alzheimer's steals backward and her memory of her time in her girlhood home is clearer than those of the one she raised children in and crisper by far than the day she came to this one. If she calls you a lying son of a bitch, turn the other cheek. She's battling demons you happen to remind her of. And if a dementia patient is dying while you share his roof, stop in to hold his hand. Try those words, I love you, on for size one last time. I promise they'll fit you both perfectly and he'll depart in spirit, in style. It never gets easier. In two years and three months, I have lost 76 loves. My litany for the ride home on those evenings goes like this. Your heart is strong and we'll see them through to the other side. You loan them their last heartbeat and they'll make sure that you're paid back in full when you join them some 60 years from now. Do not grow hard. Do not let your heart scar. The minute you stop caring, quit this job and put this building in your rear view. But I warn you, it's harder than it looks because I love you to a dementia patient has never been a lie.